My name is Rick Bracey, and I'm actually a lighting professional. I've been doing it for about 35 years. What we're going to talk about today is uh, manufacturer's reps, how they actually are going to fit in to your new marketing profiles and what you do. Uh, LED product specifications, uh, commercial LED lighting and low voltage and where they fit in together, and then how you're going to access this world. What are dealers? They're looked at as master distributors, somebody who carries an excessive amount of inventory or volume of business that allows them to get better pricing. How does the rep fit in? Well, reps basically represent the manufacturer. Reps take that product into the market and either sell it through distribution, through contractors, or get it specified to actually work with an architect or an engineer who's going to design an entire building, put my product in there, and at the end of the day, a contractor ultimately buys it installs it and the job is done. So if you've got a relationship with the rep and you know that he's going to put something on a spec, you have a better chance of writing that order. Reps work with people over long periods of time. If you know the rep who's got that relationship, he can go to that engineer and say, this is the product to use. And that trust thing that everybody talks about, he trusts them and they trust you. So. Again, you talk about LED product specification, and we've had this dialogue. How does this product fit in with the rest of the LED lighting market? I look at it for what I'm used to, which is high-end specification. I have to get a feel from an architect or an engineer what quality of product they're looking to put in at what price point. The higher I specify that, the more money we make. What's going to help you guys to sell more of that product is better understanding of the technology changes better understanding of the technology terms and understanding how color impacts the visual task. And it's all in the details. What is it built out of? What is the performance characteristics? What is the quality of the product from a longevity standpoint? All those are important. And from a technology standpoint, understanding how you get to that point is very important. It's get certifications, whether it's LC certification or landscape architecture lighting certification, become a member of the local IES chapter, know the people that you're dealing with, know the people that you're gonna be interacting with. The biggest thing that most people have to understand about LED lighting is how that lighting fixture actually works. All LEDs dim over a period of time. Is that LEDs will fail. What happens when an LED is defective? It'll fail instantly. Now, if it doesn't fail quickly over, you know, say like the first thousand hours, chances are it's gonna last for its entire lifetime and just dim down over time. The rules are changing every single day. It's being aware of the changes, being aware of the technology and what's going on in it. LED changes everything. So final thought, LED lighting can deliver real energy, real maintenance and uh, real environmental benefits. Everybody knows that if they've been doing it for any period of time. Um, and as an industry, we're working to spread knowledge and try to make people aware of what LEDs are doing and why it is so, such a great market and great product.